So let's talk about when two vectors are considered to be equal. You might have noticed in the last slide, and in fact, let's go back to the last, the last slide. You might have noticed here that we have two vectors that are equal. Now, we had created vector A by connecting vector A between two points, points P1 and P2. But notice when, when, notice what I did here. I had just copied and pasted the X component and the Y component. So here's the X component here. I copied and pasted. Here's the Y component right here. I copied and pasted. And notice we yielded another vector that is really indistinguishable from the first vector. Notice how those two vectors have the same magnitude and the same direction. Now, for all intents and purposes, those two vectors that you're seeing on this slide right now are equivalent. The only difference is cosmetic, and that difference is their tails are at different locations in space. But every property about those two vectors, the fact that, it's a ma that vectors have magnitude, the fact that vectors have direction, those two vectors are identical. And it all boiled down to the fact that they are identical because their components are identical. So this is where we could say that two vectors, V, for example, connecting points A and B, and let's say another vector W, connecting points C and D, are equal if they have the same magnitude and direction. And this is true if and only if the components of each vector are equal to each other. So let's say that slightly differently. And I'll try and be a little bit more precise on this one. So let's say we have a vector here. We will call this vector We'll just call it vector A. And let's say we have vector B right here. Those two vectors are equal. The reason why those two vectors are equal is they have the same value for the x component. So based off of this grid I have here, the x component of vector a1 has a length of five units and notice that the vector the x component of vector b also has a length of five units now let's look at the y components the y component of vector a has a length of two units the y component of vector b also has a length of two units. So what does that mean in terms of magnitude? Well, let's calculate the magnitude of vector a. So the magnitude of vector a, remember, magnitude is given to us for a vector in a plane by Pythagorean's theorem. So the magnitude of vector A is its x component squared plus its y component squared, and that's under a square root. So this would be 2 squared, well, excuse me, this is the x component squared. So that would be 5 squared plus 2 squared. So that's going to be 25 plus 4 is 9. So that's going to be root 29 for the magnitude of A vector. The magnitude of B vector is going to be the same thing. It's going to be the B's x component squared plus B's y component squared is equal to 5 squared plus 2 squared. So notice these two vectors have the exact same magnitude. 
But for two vectors to be equal, they also have to have the same direction. So let's see if we could find the same direction. I think you already know where I'm going with this. Since the two vectors have the same x and y components, they're going to have the same orientation in space. So if we look at the direction of vector A from Pythagorean's theorem and from trigonometry, the direction of vector A is just going to be the inverse tangent of its y component over its x component. So that is just the inverse tangent of 2 over 5. I don't have my calculator on me, so I can't calculate that angle. Now let's look at the, the angle of vector b. So the angle of vector b is given by the inverse tangent of its y component over its x component. And since the components are the same, the angle is going to be the same. So what this says is the magnitude of vector A is equal to the magnitude of vector B. The direction of vector A is equal to the direction of vector B. Since vectors are defined by magnitude and direction, when these two things are equal, we can say the two vectors are equal. And this all boils down to the fact that the components are equal. So we can say that two vectors are equal if and only if the components of each vector are equal to each other. Let's do an example. Show that the vector a and the position vector b are equal. a is formed from tail to head between the points 1 and 2 and 6 and 4. b is the position vector 5, 2. Pause the video and spend a couple of minutes answering this question.